Hey you guys, it's Vivian, uh, the best pharmacist. If you guys don't already know me, well, hello, nice to meet you. Thank you for stopping by. So actually, I just did a video. This is my second video tonight, so I'm a little bit proud of myself. I'm going to pat myself on the back a little bit for that one because it's been a rough couple weeks. It has been a very, very rough couple weeks. Um, so, but in case you didn't notice, I just did a video on Henbane for my 13 Witches Herbs That Mean the Most to Me series that I've been doing. Uh, it was a little bit late. We had a little bit of issue with my son this week. I didn't disclose that in my last video, but my son actually fell at school and pushed his top two front teeth up into his face. So it was fun. It was so much fun. My poor baby. Oh my god. Okay. So anyway, what I'm here for you guys this evening is I'm actually going to be doing a review. I did a review last time after I did my mandrake video on my mandrake flying ointment from Earth and Hedge. Now I'm going to be doing another review from about from him, from the flying ointment, but this time with the Henbane flying ointment. Um, I love this flying ointment. I have not yet found one that I didn't like. Um, and I also want to say, you see the sticker? Okay, if you remember from the Mandrake Flying Ointment video, I told, I said, I told you guys, how I like these stickers best. I like how they kind of just give you a little brief, very, very brief, on what he uses it for and what his plans for them were. Um, well, after I did the Mandrake video and I said that I really like these better and I wish that they were all like that, he messaged me and he goes, hey, by the way, all of my flying ointments are like that. Now they have those stickers. And I was like, oh, shut up. Yes. I was so happy. I was so excited. Because I like I like these a lot better. I mean, some of you guys probably don't care. I personally like them better. Not that it would really matter, though. I'd still buy them from them because they're amazing. But I just, I'm picky. So I like them better. Thank you. All right. So before we get into the full flying ointment discussion same same container same everything um except there is a huge difference at the same time i bought this when it was still labeled earth and hedge he is actually officially changing a lot of things with his shop um he's going to be changing and redoing his website i think the original website is still up except it is under a different name his new his shop is now officially renamed house of embers I really like the name. I think it's a great fit for what's going on, the transition and the change that he's going through with everything. I'm excited to see where it goes. I really am. I'm excited to see what else comes to the table with his business and uh, his craft making because everything he does is so far is amazing. I can't see anything that he chooses to do with his business that would not be amazing. Um, he does have quite a few flying ointments. Uh, now he's actually started some mixed flying ointments. Uh, there's Orphic and hmm, I don't remember. I don't remember the other one, but there's a, a couple ones that are mixed that are different herbs put together in the flying ointment, not just one. So I'm excited to see more of those as I have one of them now. I want to get the other one and then his pro one, but that's not what this video is about. I'm sorry. I'm just going over everything that I want to buy. So I haven't bought anything since he changed the shop name, so that just must be me telling myself that I need to buy more things, which is bad for all of us, but great for business, right? <laughs> so, this flying ointment is amazing. I personally have not had an issue with any of his flying ointments. I haven't had an issue with the way it goes on my skin. I haven't had an issue with it being greasy. I haven't had any breakouts or any issues. I put it on my temples. As you can see, I haven't had redness, blotchiness. I just put it on not too long ago because I was doing a little bit of connection with some of my deities and no, none. Since, and honestly, one of my favorite parts about his flying ointments is that they're not greasy. You don't have this slab of greasiness just thrown on your face that you can't get off it because that's a problem that I do see a lot with oils and ointments is they're the residue. They stay. They don't blend in with your skin. They don't mix well. They don't absorb, they're just there. And after a long time, it gets annoying. And I haven't had that issue with any of his so far. And I don't think I'm going to because whatever he does is perfect. The way he makes them is absolutely amazing. I hope he doesn't change a thing about it. Um, I 
do love, and I said it last time, but I love his tents. I don't know why I have a weird thing for the middle tents that open up like this. So if you watched my last video on henbane, then you know some of the uses that are this henbane that you can use them for. Sorry, it's late, so I'm not able to speak English correctly, apparently. Um, henbane, necro necromancy, divination, underworld connection, spirits of the dead, um, deities of the crossroads of the underworld. One of the things that I really was very drawn to henbane about is that it's a very big underworld herb. It's a very big with the goddesses of the underworld, the goddesses of death, the goddesses of change and rebirth and transformation. And I've actually had two spirits, two goddesses, two deities come into my life recently that are opening up a whole new world for me um, that are somewhat new and somewhat not. Hecate is always kind of, I've always kind of seen her as being a part of my practice with not directly being a part of my practice at the same time. And now she kind of is, she's kind of coming in and really opening up my eyes and doors for me that I saw coming in a weird way, but not at the same time. Um, so that is one thing I use this for is to start to really connect with the deities of the underworld that I've really had take a hold of me in my life. Um, I think henbane is a great herb for that. And the fact that this is a flying white man and I can do that, it makes it a lot easier, a lot easy, a lot more easily accessible personally instead of, because I have kids and I have cats, it's not always easy to burn herbs. It's not always easy, especially when they're poisonous herbs. Don't do that. You can't do that in a house. You can't do that when you have kids and pets in the house. If you want to do it outside, that's amazing. But, you know, I can't do that 24-7, obviously. So I personally love flame ointments, whether you're using it for a consistent hour meditation, whether you're using it to put it on before you go to bed, or whether you're using it for five minutes, sit down with your spirits and deities to really connect with them and feel their energy. I do all of those. I do all of the above. I really like to put, it's not my only use for it, but it's one of the main things I do with flying ointments is I put them on before I go to bed. I put them on before I go to bed and I meditate a little bit before I fall asleep and I dream. And some of my dreams are so intense, especially when it's come to the Henbane flying ointment. I don't want to say it's giving me absolute crazy, unrealistic, phenomenal, over the top type of dreams because it, it hasn't. But I have noticed a difference when I use this flying ointment and the dreams that I have, whether I remember them or not, the next morning I wake up and I feel refreshed in a way. I feel like I know in myself, in my spirit, that something happened there. Um, so that is a big deal for me with flying ointments because I want to feel that spiritual way. I don't want to feel grogginess from the different components that are in the flying ointment that made me feel like shit the next morning. I haven't had that issue. I've had a hangover issue with any of this flying ointments. Um, and I will say that I've had an issue with that with different ones. So that's another reason why I continue to keep buying from him. I love his products. I love him. He's super sweet. He's a great guy. Seriously, if you're going to support a small business, check him out. It's House of Embers. And please remember, House of Embers is spelled H-A-U-S of Embers. Not H O U S E, H A U S of Embers. He has Instagram, um, he has YouTube. Uh, he might have other social media outlets as well. I don't know him on the other social media outlets, honestly, um, but I'm sure he does. But check him out on Instagram because, like, I don't know if I said this in this video or the video I made before this, but one thing I really like about following him on Instagram is that he goes. He takes pictures of his process on how he makes these. It's not mass production. It's not anything, you know, that you wouldn't really like to deal with. I think I love the fact that he does it because I'm putting this on my body. I want to know where it's come from. I want to know how it's made. You know, I want to know everything. Some people might not care about that, but I do personally. And the fact that he does that and he puts it, <clears throat> sorry, that he puts it out there for us to know and he sees the process and he sees how or, and you see how he works with these plants and these spirits. I love that. I think it's an amazing thing that he does. And I'm glad he does it. So, once again, 
Birkin Hedge, now officially House of Embers. Check him out. He's got different flying ointments, different products. He's now stepping into some different oils and incense and things like that as well. I got an incense from him that I haven't been able to burn yet, and I'm really excited to. So I can't wait to do that. So I do plan on doing more reviews on all of the other ointments I have from him. Um, so stay tuned. Other than that, you guys, blessings. Bye.